and start getting our voices working. If everybody wants to go ahead and start saying things so I can test out how loud everyone uh, is. Uh, I don't know what to say. I'm playing Animal Crossing right now. Uh, um, I'm trying to think of like something really goofy to get you guys to yell about. I'm playing Animal Crossing right now, and I'm watering, uh, like, I put together a little garden out of the vegetables that you can plant now, and so that's what I'm doing. Just taking care of them. Oh my god, that's just nice. that's so sweet sounding. Very cute and relaxing. Living your cottage core girly life. Yeah. Honestly, We're Animal Crossing is one of those games where I'm like, man, I wish I didn't have ADHD and could enjoy this. <laughs> it's it's too quiet. It's too soft. I need constant stimulation to be able to enjoy it, and I feel bad about that. I get yeah. task paralysis and panic, much like I do in Minecraft. It's why I can't play that one either. Rip. Miles and I are just relegated to um, being stereotypical men and hunting and killing things for sport. Hey, hey, I am a uh -huh. stereotypical kid -ult. Thank you very much. Kid no, 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 you don't know. You don't get to say kid -ult. No. I buy my action Ooh. figures and paint them and enjoy them very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm 30 and I do the same shit. You don't get to be a kid and an adult. You have to pick one. But the Republicans say... He, he stopped himself before I even had to correct him. <laughs> so he was waiting for <laughs> you can do improv from you said the Republicans say long pause. <laughs> That's what I no. <laughs> Alright, we'll transition to where everyone can now see the board on the stream. Looking nice, looking nice. And with that, I think oh, we're ready. Shame to go ahead and start. And uh, did I close? Okay, I didn't close Twitch chat, but I did kind of put it off to the side. I'm older than Baz and I still have a child point of view and heart. Exactly. You do, you you can be a man child, but you cannot be a kid old. It doesn't work that way. All right. So, a kid old is boss baby. I almost threw up. I almost threw up. <laughs> uh you know what? Now I know we haven't talked in a couple of years. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> that was a low blow. I'm sorry. Damn. <laughs> I don't know why I'm in a sassy mood today. Well, listen, Maybe it's it, because I'm getting it out of my system before I become a, a, a very sad puppy. Listen, that's fine. I just want now. I just want to watch you fight Ryan because Ryan cheats. I do. <laughs> I'd die. What do you mean? No, no, yeah, exactly. It would be very entertaining for me. It doesn't matter that I'm six foot four and almost three hundred pounds. I'd lose. I don't know how to fight with <laughs> shit. It's all about the thief. I am small and agile. <laughs> small, agile, and, and uh, they know how to poke you with things. Oh yeah, Baz? How'd you know about that? I have been stabbed and or prodded several times. <laughs> <laughs> I will not correct you. That is all I will say. Um, with that, we can go ahead and start the session right proper. Last yeah. time on Lock and Load... The group managed to do what they set out to do. Uh, we went in. We attempted to minimize casualties as much as we could. Which, to be honest, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, five out of six? Not bad. And the only reason one of the six died was because of traumatic Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> Kick a little bit of dirt over him. <laughs> what? What dead body? What? 
What dead body? I don't know what you're talking about. You didn't see anything. I've um, got a cat in my space. Hello. But now, as we have now been able to disarm these uh, essentially forcibly controlled individuals, um, the the big things that I want to ask everyone is essentially where we want to go. Because there is some role play that I want to do with Miles' character, and I'm sure everyone else wants to do their own. But the focus I feel we need to kind of prioritize right now is do we take these people and also free the people stuck in the cages still and like bring them outside to be healed? Or do we want to go deeper and try to immediately deal with the oncoming force that is still probably in control, excuse me, of Vandahaw Port as a whole? I think we need to go find it at the source. I don't know if this is a conversation that needs to happen in character. It can, uh, but I, I will say, um, once we go into character, Wander's immediately going over to Rat very angrily. Okay. So I kind of wanted to ask above board first. Yeah, I I personally think that we should go find the source that way. Basically, that way we don't leave and come back and there's more. Fair. <laughs> and I don't die again. Yeah, I want to. I don't, I don't know if it's, like, implied, but, like, Zuriel is, like, trying to stabilize Markov. Mm-hmm. Ow. Uh, given the fact that we have had a little bit of getting knocked around, and our real mission was more to figure out the fuck out what's going on, and we do have a priority to save people, I'm gonna put my vote towards we get the people out of here and get them to the medics, and then decide what to do next. That's where my vote goes in. Markov will do whatever Wander wants. <laughs> Two to one. All right, Rat, you gotta be the one. <laughs> Cade, you gotta be the one to Why? be the tiebreaker, potentially. Why <laughs> did we do this to ourselves? <laughs> I know, right? It oh. always comes down to Rat. It's like, oh no. Here's the thing. Oh god. You remember, Baz, about certain roles that I tried to do yesterday. Uh-huh. Or I say yesterday, last time. Uh, my vote is no vote, because no matter what, Rat's trying to run. Okay, yeah, oh. because cause he's he's having a little bit of them PTSDs. Nope. It's a different reason, but still, he's trying to get away. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, cool. Then two to one, Um, we're, we're taking the people topside. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just looking towards Rat being like, you could have helped me. <laughs> not, not even. I don't... Listen. Zuriel's not, like, a great person. Doesn't <laughs> really have a lot of respect for other people being other people. And arguably the most respect he has for somebody in this group is Rat. But, like... He sees Rat doing Rat things... <laughs> and he's just like oh, man. Zuriel, what is your passive perception? Um, I don't high. remember from last time. Uh my perception is a plus eleven, so So twenty one. You since I rolled a fifteen, you basically see Rad trying to hide behind these barrels here. Oh yeah, pretty much everyone's able to see yeah. that shit because like I think me and uh I think currently uh, Markov and Wander have the lowest passive perception, and it's a 17. Mm -hmm. All right. So yeah, Rat's trying to hide, but he's not doing it very well. All right. Uh, before I start hogging the scene, because I tend to do that, and I'm, I try to be self-aware, does anybody want to do anything before Wander starts yelling at Rat? Because that's what he's going to do. Hmm. Markov's going to pull the arrow out of his eye. <laughs> Not specifically. I feel like, I don't know if I have to, if you want me to click my stabilized cantrip, but other than that, I'm just trying to, like, heal up Markov. I would say, um, I, I guess the question comes down to, after we leave 
to get the people back topside, we could immediately run back down and start going deep in. Or we could take a long rest and just automatically get healed up. Either or works, I would want to just immediately go back down as soon as we get the other people back to safety. Dario's just gonna go with the the majority, so... Mm -hmm. He was already outvoted once, so he's kind of throwing his hands <laughs> up. He's like, fine. Fine, fuck it. All right, then. Uh, Ari and Cade, as players, what do you want to do? Uh... Long I'm rest or get or just get, get going? Uh, we should do a long rest because I have one HP. You, but was... you, you, you can be healed uh, within like 30 minutes of in-game time, like to max. I think we should still long rest to get all of our spells back. Yeah, I don't have animal form anymore until I rest again, I believe. I would like my focus point back. Focus points come back <laughs> within 10 minutes in-game time. Even when it's a focus spell? Yup. The literally God the damn. literally the only things that do not replenish uh outside of a lawn rest is um ammo, uh resources, and actual spells. Like if you use focus as your spell, um you can just prepare that or reconcentrate is what the term is called, uh within ten minutes. Hmm. Then, I'm going to say for Markov's sake, I would like to do the long, uh, long rest, but if forced, I can go continue on. Do you want a sure. long rest, Basil? I don't need to long rest. Like, being a gunslinger, I literally have enough ammo and enough resources. All my character needs to do is just take 10 to 30 minutes to clean out his pistol and he's good to go. So I'll say that As we can we can do a long rest. I'm indifferent to it. I'm having a I'm having a player character difficulty because as a player, I would like the rest of my hit points and my spell back. Uh-huh. As as a character, Zuriel, Zuriel doesn't care. Well, Zuriel's, Zuriel's going to be like, able to I'll figure it out. Zuriel's going to be able to get their HP back. It's just their spell yeah. they won't be able to get back. Yeah. Info about Worm. I did it. One okay. ping wasn't enough. I needed to ping him ten times, and now he's awake. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well, then they'll be joining us here in a second. All right, well, then we'll... we'll I right. think we'll agree to lawn rest, because I'm indifferent. Uh, Zuriel is having a personality crisis. <laughs> <laughs> And Zuriel, the character, is indifferent. <laughs> All right, then we'll go ahead and do the lawn rest. That sets us up for our story. Let me get my notes down. I forgot I spent both my hero points on that stealth, and it still failed, and I was so mad about it. By the way, make <laughs> sure you give yourself back your free hero points. So if you had one right. hero point last session, you now have two. If you had zero, you now have one. All right, so we rescue some people on casual side quest. All right, with that, uh, Wander's going to go wander over angrily to Rat. Uh, realize, like, Rat probably realizing, why can't I not control you? What's going on here? Because you have the game pause, you goof. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I want the game paused, huh? You ever think of that? <laughs> so Wander's going to go over... And, uh, get, get the fuck back here. Like I said, he was at the barrel trying to hide. You but I will man. say, when he notices that his, uh, his, his sneaky sneaky is failing. Yeah, he, what he actually does is that he looks at you. He's not afraid, nor is he, like, angry or anything like that. He just ducks down and covers his head. All right, Wander does not put his hands on Rat because Rat is a person. Wander is going to go... What the fuck? Hold on, hold on. I gotta find his voice really quick. Mm, there, there it is. Rat, what the fuck? We had a plan. Keep them alive. 
there's no answer. He's still down there. Um. Damn. Wander's gonna uh, take a breath and just kind of go. Rat, please look at me when I'm talking to you. And at this point, Rat looks up at you, and again, his mask is now gone because uh -huh. he had to rip it off. And you fully see what he is, or at least his face, in the fact that half of his cheek is missing. I know and what there you is are. A socket there instead of an eyelid and eyebrow. Oof. And he looks at you, and only the right side of his face shows his utter bewilderment, bewilderment and confusion. And he just is looking at you, but again, he is perplexed. He does not know what is happening anymore. Okay, um... I'm going to attempt to do a deception check to, for, like, Wander to not freak out about that. Because, like, and he's not going to, like, fully freak out, but he, he he's trying to force himself to not react to Rat's face for his, for Rat's sake. Uh, what do you think, like, a, a DC would be for that? Like, what's your perception? Uh, my perception is a plus six, so 16, right? Yeah. Okay, so I just have to beat a 16 if you are okay with me doing this. Yep, all good. Out of you. All right, 19. Ooh, cool. nice. So Wander, like, sort of, like, internally, like, grits his tooth, like, kind of, like, clenches his jaw briefly, but then relaxes. And I, is it very obvious that, like, he's very confused and overwhelmed? Uh, rat? Yeah. You can tell by the right side of his face where, you know, there is a face. Yes, he is confused. It is only the left side that's skeletal and missing bits and pieces, but you can still see a bit of muscle twisting into if there was a cheek there, it would be a huh? Look? Okay. Wander's gonna collect himself and, like, kind of kneel down to Rat's level and just say, Okay, remember, the game plan was to make sure as many of these guys stayed alive so we could take them out of here. Do you remember that? Rat leans back a bit and goes, Rat, don't understand what game plan means. Clenches, his, clenches the bridge of his nose. Okay, remember when I said not to kill anyone? Rat, make Phil better. Po points over to the dead kobold. That how how is that better? And at this point, you see Rat look at the corpse and. He, like, makes a small... Worm. Welcome, friend! Hey. It is time for serious Welcome talks about morality. Okay, I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> Get back in here and help me help me teach Rat not to commit war crimes! Help me! Help me! Help me! I mean... How about a war crime are we talking about here? Rem remember the, the kobold that Rat eviscerated last session? I mean, omelets, eggs. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Goofy ass. Rat looks over at the, the corpse, right, that he made, and Wonder sees Rat raise his hands as if he's literally going to try and cast and try to heal that. But then he looks at his left hand, which is now unbandaged and is just one giant skeletal arm down to like almost where the elbow is. And Rat just looks at Wander and says, why won't it move? Like me. Rat get better when like that. Why not him? 
Rat, not everyone is like you. There might be others who are like you, but you cannot assume everyone can come back from that. They're not going to wake up. They're not going to move. They're gone. Let me, let me roll a little something here. It's not to... He will process this. I want to see the level of processing he goes through. <laughs> time to roll to see how much... <laughs> How, how much telltale Let's influence see what, his pro what were you saying, uh, Mays? Processors have to turn. <laughs> well, yes, what kind of processor is Rat working with? You know what? I'm going to say this is a... Turns out Rat has mm. just been an apple, too, this whole time. <laughs> oh you know yeah, it's survival, because it's living creatures. 10. Why is the 3D dice breaking my fucking... I need to turn that off, apparently. It keeps crashing my forge. And I'm like, what? The, the 3D dice is crashing your forge? It keeps freezing on me. I don't know why. But anyways, uh, I, mean, I, 10, I have to go in there and turn that off, I think. Um, With a 10, you see him, like, look at it. And then he, like, slowly once again looks back at you and he says they don't come back he just shakes I, his head I it it hurt friend elf I I just didn't like it hurt friend and at this point, he is starting to just stumble over his words as he finally now understands what it means to kill something. Or kill a person. Right. It seems like he knew what killing a, a creature is, like, you know, a literal rat in order to survive was. But he just killed the thing with humanity. Air quotes. Uh, Wander is... Oh, I don't have to turn the whole thing off. I can just... I think I can just turn off. 3D dice. Hold on. Uh, this is configure. Da, 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 maximum number of dice disabled during combat. Disabled for initial. Uh, real quick, I'm gonna see if it was the stream fucking over my shit. I'm just gonna roll a dead dice basically to myself. Yeah, no worries. Uh, I'm gonna otherwise I'll just disable some stuff. Yeah, that's odd. It was just the stream. Okay. I don't know what was like. I don't know how the two were cooperating and breaking it, but apparently it was me having the stream up. Weird. Um, man, I, I've learned that processors like like to be finicky. Technology is weird. Um, True. At that point, Wander is going to hold a hand up, and he's gonna like again to try to like get Rat's attention and say, "The hand going up makes him duck again." <laughs> He, You're he, starting to tell he is used to whenever this happens where somebody sees him, it's usually a beating. Right, and Wander's not going to do anything. He's just going to hold his hand up. He's going to keep it there, and he's just going to, like, Rat, keep looking at me. And he's going to wait until Rat moves. Rat again very slowly turns. Puts the hand down to, like, now that Rat has stopped stammering. You are not capable of choosing when the right and wrong time is to attack. I can't explain it right now, but you attacking when Markov was hurt was not the right move. But you know when you were healing people, when you were like patching up injuries, right? It slowly nods. Just do that. Only that. As long as you're with us, if someone hits you, attacks you, or goes for you, you run away and you get behind literally any of us and help us stay alive. We will choose when something has to die or not. Okay? Rat. Rat no like dying. Good. Then you don't have to make that decision. You just 
get behind us or find us or call for us and we take care of everything else, you just heal us when we get hurt, okay? He nods once again, and then you see him take out a small bag, like a satchel he's had a little bit, and he starts taking out, and he, when he opens it up, it's medical supplies. Thing is, they are pristine, even with being on rat. They are <laughs> perfect. Like the needles are sterile. The if uh the the scissors that are in there or the shears that are in there are clean and pretty and everything, with a small notebook on the side. And he starts wrapping up and um, but you see the the stuff he's wrapping up and putting on himself is dirty and gross like he separated them and he he's using the bad ones on himself and keeping the good ones safe essentially wander's gonna make a mental note of that and be like oh my god that's way too much to go over one more time uh wander is going to nod at that and he's going to stand up and then when when rat's done organizing he wander's going to very slowly put his hand out for rat to grab onto so he can pick him back up on his feet God damn it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I really hope I don't fail this. Uh, Baz, uh -huh. what, stat, what stat would you say would be understanding <laughs> oh, what that no. action is? I would actually say it would be society. Okay. And I, I would say the DC for that's going to be rather low because it's society wise, it's, it's a generally assumed thing. Uh, I would say, like, we're looking at a 14 for the DC, given that okay, Rat is was, still Rat. Yeah, I would say it's very obvious, but the thing is, Rat is Rat. Yeah. That's okay. Oh, oh my God. God. Son of a, oh, no. son of a whore, you are so, so stupid. Oh God. Here's how this is going to work, right? Rat's going to stare at the hand and see you holding it, like, downward, and then he just, he flops his head on it because he thinks you're trying to pet him. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Wander's gonna lean into it. He he's not gonna pet, but he's gonna pat Wander's head, or not his head, Brat's head. Hi, <laughs> good, 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 good job, Wander. You did a good job with that. Just <laughs> Wander, 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 absently patting his own head like I did a good here. I, listen. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, Locke is 100% gonna pat his own back metaphorically later, but for now, he's he's giving Rat the reassurance that he clearly needs. It is too early for these feels. <laughs> Rat understood that it was a kind gesture, just misunderstood what kind. <laughs> listen, listen, we'll take it. He's a dumb puppy that will eventually become a man. <laughs> that is the most he accurate gesture. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, with that, uh, Wander is going to sort of, like, help pick Rat up and move to the rest of the group and, um, pretty much just, alright, we need to go ahead and take who we can for survivors. I suggest we just, um, leave them, kind of points over towards the body. As I is... Know. I... I want to do a thing. We want to do. Markov and uh, Markov and Zuriel, they're like walking down this way, and Markov is to... like carrying. Markov is like carrying the kobold by like the scruff of their neck while they're unconscious, and he just drops them in front of in front of water. It's like this one killed me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of if Zuriel actually, because like in order to stabilize Markov, I would have had to shift back. But man, it would be really funny for Markov to be walking down and Zuriel and Deer Form would be following him. Well, here's the thing. I think even uh, Wander's got... Here, I'm going to double check. I think even Wander has uh, the ability to do a medicine check decently. So for the, if you really just want to... Also, we have a, uh, a soldier medic, you know. Uh, we have yeah. this guy. Kind of too. 
not really a soldier medic, but a regular medic with me. Yeah, so I'm going to say that literally if you want to stay in your wild shape form, we can just say that anyone else made the roll so we can move on. Yeah. <laughs> Dear boy hours. Dear boy no. hours. Baz, I have an out-of-table question that I wanted to ask you yesterday, just in case it's unconsequential. Because you forgot what? It's not that I forgot, it's that I... Well, I did forget when I took a bite out of them. Uh, we <laughs> said that these guys had living metal on them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How would that affect undead rat, since I just chewed it? I'm going off of the concept that we've already explored, that once they've been turned... Uh, the metal's not really contagious anymore. Oh, okay. I must have forgotten or okay. slipped yeah. my mind. No, no, I, I, I make remember. make sure, because I remembered that and went, how's that going to work against my not living ass? Yeah, no, it's it's like the, the people who are currently infected and are still, like, worried about it, um, they are still contagious, but, like, the people we were fighting, that's that's different basically turned okay that makes sense i mean i was because i was just going to assume it would be like let's see which of these virus ri wins rat is just too fucked to catch this disease. <laughs> he has every disease known to man oh my god like, rat just like I, I, scratches his jaws it goes down into his stomach like baz have i have i told you about the the uh the viru before i don't think so <gasps> oh no so when I was in high school, uh, I did a lot. I used a lime wire a lot, and so my school laptop just collected viruses, and it got to a point where I had so many viruses on my computer that none of the viruses affected my computer, and I couldn't catch viruses because I had a like viral protection. <laughs> the best kind of viral protection. Yeah. Yeah. Like just every virus. Every, like, just cannibalizing every virus that got on there. I was like, yeah, man, it's like super viruses protecting my computer because they, they, they don't want any other virus to be the one that affects my computer. It's great. And so my friends decided to name it. It's no longer a virus. It is the V. <laughs> the V. So as we go ahead and take the bodies uh, that are still conscious and also the currently infected back to the top side of Banaha. Oh, also going back, actually, because we did kind of walk over this scene. Um, when Markov throws the uh, kobold in front well, of Wander, well, he doesn't throw him. He doesn't throw him. He like, he like grabs just the kobold, extends him. his hand, and then just drops him in front of Wander. Bonk. <laughs> like that one killed. You say that one killed me. That one killed me. I mean, you're talking a lot for a dead man. Just smiles at him. Point, points to Rat. Rat immediately just said, now that he knows what death is, you see his right side that does have flesh, it starts to tear up. Aww. He just learned what death is and you <laughs> called him dead. <laughs> <laughs> I see I see Rat start to tear up and I like, with, with my dear side, I like bump into Markov and just like uh, <laughs> exhale through my nose in his face. I if Markov was not fucked up, he would apologize. But right now, he's just staring at Rat. I, I honest to God, Fair. you know what? You know what I feel like, and I, I'm not dissing this. I kind of like this. I don't know enough about Broderick and uh, Zuriel yet, but it really does feel like Wander is the only one who has some level of normalcy about them, and that's yeah. still not saying a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Because I feel like for, for Broderick, he's been in the military long enough that it's just like, okay, Oops. feelings feelings in battle do not go together. We need to compart. Okay, and and he's feeling feelings. Fuck. Oh, Fuck. no. <laughs> Locke literally is just the group's dad. No, like, because you know what it is? Uh... Roderick is like the granddad who's just like, ah, fuck these fucking kids and their fucking feelings. I wasn't trained for this. I'm I'm going to handle like the, the actual job and let one of them do this really stuff because I, I'm not. Wander just taking a big sip of alcohol and just be like, 
Thank God, my, right. thank God my family's a bunch of war veterans and fucking mercenaries, or else I would not be equipped to do this kind of therapy. All right, let's talk. <laughs> Wander, <laughs> Wander's just like, man, what a week. But Wander, it's only Wednesday. What a week, huh? <laughs> what a week. Does that thing where like he he like flicks the top off of a, a thing of alcohol? What a week. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we take the we take the unconscious and we take the infected top side. Uh, that's going to trigger a new scene. Uh, let me go ahead and get my notes and everything together. Let's see. Let's see. By the time we get by the time we get them all out, I'm out of deer form because it only lasts a minute. Oh, I got you. I will say when when Zuriel slips swaps out of deer form rat is like poking their shoulder because he doesn't get how it works so he's like trying to push them and make them transform again <laughs> just trying to find the button exactly stop it, right back, guys. Stop it. Okay, nope. <laughs> you sorry it's just like slapping his hand away stop it stop. You, you fluffy you cute what happened thanks magic don't worry about it don't worry don't, but don't magic Everybody does it. I'm. I think. You guys do magic. Not me. I do not. Oh, glowy mm. hand thing that make people feel better. Yeah, similar to that, I guess. <laughs> when, uh... <laughs> when, when you. Serial does. Serial does not have an understanding of his own magic. <laughs> oh my god! Everyone's yes. so dumb, and I love it. <laughs> We're all a bunch of hambos. Wanders when you fall out of the brain. sky. <laughs> you know what, Valid? Brad didn't fall out of sky. He came from cellar. Um, I, I like this yeah. idea that when you when you ask like, "Is anyone else cast magic?" Wander just slowly like holds up his gun. It's like I cast gun. <laughs> Mark up. Hey. I cast sword. <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't think on, that's how that go. works. Hold on. I need. I need. I need to find a meme. Brat ha rat's hands ignite in flame. Oh god. Oh goodness. Okay. Uh da, da, da. oh actually I forgot. That's the wrong thing. Let me find the right thing. I might have fucked up a little bit. Sorry about that. What oh Okay, yeah, we are gonna Ooh, we are actually yeah, uh we're actually getting an interrupted scene, which means oh, dear. I have to now pull out oh, my phone app. And we're gonna see what the fuck comes out next. Guns are the ones, they only know one spell. Bullet. <laughs> Listen, it's the only spell you No no no, Gun guns are magic, all they know is magic missile. Except it's just called missile. It's you know. just bullet. It's called bullet. I was really worried when uh, when Wander held out their hand, I was gonna get like a one, and I was like, dude, this is gonna be that scene from that anime where the dog just bites the person's hand. <laughs> <laughs> and it wouldn't be like a hard bite, it'd be like a mouth, which, Baz, you probably know of with your puppy, mm -hmm. where it's just like, they Ow. swallow your hand, and it's just like, oh, oh, okay, that's happening, I guess. Okay, so I rolled on the app, because it's a little bit faster uh, whenever getting the interruption, so we got the current context as the focus, so us leaving topside to go take care of that. Deceive reassurance. So I'm going to put that in the chat. Raphael! Mm. From, from Boulder's Gate. Oh, God. I don't play that game. No, I don't play that game. I don't know. I would it. love to play that people game. That, people that know uh, Boulder's Gate will know. Th they'll understand. I don't play that game because I, I, I couldn't find How a gun about in the demo. Part of very, your world. Very, very similar to Boulder's Gate. What if we have someone come and offer us aid, but they are secretly very powerful? Ooh, no, I actually like that. That actually works because they're they're deceiving us, but they're also trying to reassure us. I like that. Okay, so. Can't wait to figure out why. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, I'm gonna it go would ahead. Even waste your time. I'm gonna go ahead and roll on some meaning tables here, uh, and I can actually do that on the 
game here on Forge. I'm just gonna pull out the list. Boop doop. Ooh, they could be sent. I'm going. I'm they going to send a picture. <laughs> Sorry, I keep talking at the same time. Go, go on, Ellie. Go on. I was like, they could be sent by uh, Zuriel's deity, who he does not remember the name of, but I can give the name of. Uh, Oops. is it is it a deity from? Uh, D and D, or is it one from Pathfinder? It's from Pathfinder. Okay, I, that's all I needed to know. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I certainly hope it's from Pathfinder because I was able to just like, I was, I think I was looking specifically at Pathfinder deities. Um, his name is Kilpot. Okay, I'll, I'll go ahead and look. How you pronounce that or spell it? Uh, K A L E. K O T, and I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Basil, I just sent you a picture of who I want to be the deceit. Oh god damn it, that's a really good idea. <laughs> uh we we might actually use that. Hold on, let me download that picture. That's a very that's a very good idea, actually. Put that on my it's desktop. It's a vampire now. guy, I swear to god. <laughs> it's not! <laughs> I mean, good on you for guessing that because Ari kind of has a type. Yeah, I he's do, everyone is obsessed with him, and I don't get it. <laughs> it's so dumb. So it's okay. It's, okay, it's the same. He has a tragic backstory, and he's hot. Okay. <laughs> but he literally just wants you to die. That's all he talks about, and it's boring. Like, dude, talk about me, or like, you know, let's let's make a bond here instead of just death. All I'm hearing is that Cade feels like they're not getting nearly enough attention from this character. They're, yeah. they're jealous. I don't even play the game, though. I know, Cade. right? It's, it's very sad. Cade, we huh? can fix him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I, like, I like that you went with this, uh, with this guy. It's actually very, mm -hmm. very fitting with everything going on. I like this. Um, okay, so there's there's two angles we can go with. We can have it to where, um, for whatever reason, uh, something dealing with uh, uh, Kalecott, which is how I think it's pronounced, uh, or or Kellicott. Kellicott. Um, that sounds yeah. more magical. It it it. <laughs> that sounds more magical. <laughs> um, they're from the Mwangi uh, Expanse, which is basically like a very well done fantasy Africa. So Kellicott does sound a little bit more not fucked up by English language, but who knows? Yeah. <laughs> um, so we can either be that there is something that, that Kellicott wants, or uh, Ari presented a villain that is very fun, and the play, uh, our characters would not know our villains yet. So I'm going to leave it up to Worm and Cade. Uh, villain or God? Bad. I need you my to, villain I need is a hot choose. woman. <laughs> you, you, picked uh, my two favorite, you, you picked my two favorite flavors, Basil. <laughs> it's, why I rolled a, it's why I rolled a D2. I was like, I'm not going to pick one, so it's second option. Uh, so, uh, that will, uh, so if God was first option, that means the hot lady villain is second option. Uh, you know what? Let random chance be the dictator worm. No, that sounds like no, a good idea. No, no, I, I no. won't. I won't. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, I won't. Let, the my own story. Let the chaos flow through you. I choose my own fate. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but no, because uh, I just realized the second option is a dame, and it's always the dames. So. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so for now, uh, we're going to go with uh, hot female villain, and I'm going to go ahead and take the picture that you sent me, hun, and I'm going to throw that onto the game and see if I can show off to everyone. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and send it in character references. Yep, yep. I see. I've seen this before. Yes, you have. I need to redraw her. Let's see here. I'm going to very quickly make an NPC uh, section for her, and I think that'll be a good way of showing off. You know what I love? Ooh. 
I'm that, fucked. What do you love? <laughs> <laughs> that is like very obviously oh, villain no. to <laughs> any normal person. To rat. That mommy. looks like a normal person. I don't know what you mean. That's mommy right there. <laughs> mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Sorry. See, again, what I mean is that rat doesn't understand sexuality. No, so he can't just... tell what's hot. <laughs> but also... that, he sees that tail and he's like, rat have weird thing. Rat has a weird thing. Shows his thing. skeletal hands. It don't make sense with other arm. Oh, no. He, uh, uh or oh maybe put God. that away. <laughs> this I, character I, was based off of a scorpion. I, I'm i so glad I'm not playing a scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> this time. Because, like, Baz, you know Merch would have used Rat to sell so much bullshit. Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that and then I just gotta upload this here put this why would you here. do that to my boy <laughs> I would love it but why would you do that because like, he can like he wouldn't be able to stop himself once he got over how unique rats physiology was it would just immediately be hold on like cut like convince his rat to cut off like a piece of his arm and like heal himself and make it look like one of his tinctures is what healed him. Like it can even heal this. <laughs> no. So now everyone on stream can see this character and Hun mostly because I don't know how to personify this character. Are you fine doing a duo job of Markov and this person? Sure. Yeah. Okay. I want her to hold me. <laughs> She'll hold you by the neck. <laughs> That's Good, fine. It Good enough. <laughs> I knew it. I mean, who doesn't like a necklace? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, that took me a second. See, this is why I'm playing rat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I am trying to make this smaller. Will you let me make it? Oh, hi, rats. Rat's thing of like um, seeing this and just like not understanding sexuality. Zuriel seeing this, not understanding that she does kind of just look evil because all of you people look different down here. <laughs> None of you look down the same. Here. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> all of you people. You right? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Now um, in in her lore, she is half drow half tiefling but you can go ahead and change that if you want yeah uh also it makes sense because the drow are actually being taken out of pathfinder because of their <coughs> implications yes but she 100 percent can just be a tiefling elf like there's nothing stopping that yeah but it's the tiefling oh. part that makes her purple i'm so mad at my brain mm, yes yeah. that's when what you... the purple is not the horns <laughs> When you said implications, why did I immediately think of It's Always Sunny? Oh, <laughs> Makes sense. Like, listen, maybe people don't want to join your weird cult thing. Well, no, but they would. Because of the implication. Because of the implication. It's a stretch, but it checks out. <laughs> um, so as this person comes up to us and we're basically trying to carry these people... Um, I like the idea that we don't initially obviously, like, know that she's evil, even though, like, out of character, we have said several times, oh, she's real fucking yeah. evil. <laughs> um, Hun, how would they approach us? I think, despite everything that's going on, like, <clears throat> there's, like, fighting, and everybody's being uh, taken prisoner and everything, she is dressed like a noble at a ball almost like she has this really nice form-fitting dress and these high heels mm -hmm. so that would be the first thing and she just kind of saunters on up to the <laughs> to the boys and waits for them to see her literally uh um... I, I think i have the highest passive perception and i'm staring right at her yeah I, I think once you start staring at her we're all like wait what here's the funny thing again that's just person. Rat is going to try to keep dragging whatever he's holding past them. 
And then it's when, like, somebody grabs him and yanks him back that Rat's like, what? Uh, oh. <laughs> I like I it. I was wondering when I would be able to see you boys. Who are um, you? Rat, not boy. Rat, rat. <laughs> rat is rat. Good for you, Rat. Who are you? A pub. My name is Duar, and mm -hmm. I've been tasked mm -hmm. with making sure that you, boys and rat, continue on this path. Like, very quietly, Rat is trying to figure out how to say it. <laughs> calling absol I, calling I absolute over. bullshit. I lean over to Wander, and I say... Did she just say that her name was Duwar or Noar? <laughs> Noar. N O I didn't ask. Or I didn't ask. <laughs> Zuriel didn't ask you. He asked Wander. Uh, Wander is not going to initially respond and is instead. I almost forgot to put. He's 28. I did not put his age. Uh, I want to go ahead and roll perception. Uh, the DC will be a 19 to see if I can see if she's bolt. Wow, dude. <laughs> really? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. We're, we're, we're gonna burn a hero Pretty point lady. on that. Pretty lady. Pretty lady. Pretty lady. I, need, I need to be understood that I, God Ellie, damn oh it. my no. god. Water I, Ellie, used... just like, Her <laughs> eyes are sparkling. <laughs> so, the nat the one... Your eyes are an ocean. Your breasts are also an ocean. <laughs> <laughs> So, unlike with the Nat One, Wander isn't like completely idiotically turned on, but he is just like, okay, cool, hot lady. You know, let, let me go ahead and give uh, <laughs> Sarge a perception check on this. Yeah, to see if you can call the bullshit on it. Yeah. Much better than my roll. That's a soft Much 20. Better. Yep. All right. You know what? Just for the fuck of it, I doubt I'm gonna get this, but I want to see if Rat will see something. Uh, perception. At twenty. Can I argue diplomacy? No perception. All right, bet. Diplomacy no. is when you are trying to convince someone that you have a better offer. Natural twenty. There it is. Let's go. It. go! It. All, right. All right. So. We don't we don't know in narrative yet what her goals are, but like I'm I think it's fun if like uh Ari if you want to come up with something that Rat is able to immediately glean. Uh you can smell blood on her hands. Oh, okay. So and on her tail. <laughs> Interesting. So, oh, this is this is actually really good for Rat. So after the conversation with Wander, I feel like Wander would know this because even even though he's like, ooh, pretty lady, he sees Rat start hiding behind Wander and he's growling. <laughs> okay, uh, without, without taking any hesitation because literally Rat is doing exactly what Wander asked. Uh, Wander's going to gently place down uh, one of the bodies he's helping carry, and he's just going to ready his gun and point it at her and just go, Now listen, it's very unbecoming of me to go ahead and just completely pull the trigger on someone who hasn't attacked me yet. Points over to Rat. But we just spend the entirety of ten minutes trying to help our friend comprehend the concept of morality, and he's doing a very good job of calling your bullshit. Cox gun. Maybe you I smell watch. blood. Blood not good. Blood being dead. Wander just like wins is like I was being badass and he fucking ruined it. <laughs> that was exactly I'm rough. gonna say, I'm gonna say that Noir. She looks at you holding the gun. She kind of tilts up her head to look at you down her nose. And is she able to make a roll to like smack the gun out of your hand with her tail? Oh fuck yeah! You know what, you know what we're gonna yeah. do because I know enough about this character and I know how strong they're supposed to be. I'm actually gonna I'm not gonna make her roll. We are going to actively have to react to everything she does. She's oh, that oh strong. <laughs> Funnily enough, I ain't got shit. 
I was like, well, maybe I can guide its wanderer to keep the gun in his hand, but then I realized that's not a reactionary spell, uh, so fuck me. I'm gonna go ahead and roll a reflex save to see if, like, Wander can, like, dodge the attack, so... Again, we're, we're going off the concept of, so to explain the, the, the rules we're using, generally speaking, at level 3, we need to be able to beat 18 and 19s for things that, like, take effort to do. So, depending on that, uh, we're going to see how the results are. What I will then do after rolling is, if I fail, I'll roll a d100, and depending on the degree of failure, meaning every 25, like, under 100... Uh, I'm going to say something bad happens. Oh boy! So I just gotta beat a 19. Oh, that's painful. You know, you know what? No, I'm not gonna burn a hero point. I want to. I want to see how this turns out. I feel like it narratively might make sense. Mm-hmm. Okay. Come on, that's bad, so. But so not that's as bad as it could have been. Right. So that I'm. I'm considering that essentially. So. That is two degrees of failure. I, it would have been three degrees if I fell under 50. So, uh, I'm going to say um, not only is the gun just completely smacked out of Wander's hand, uh, my dueling pistol is just shattered into bits. Oh, wow. Oh, no. It would be better to have me as an ally than an enemy, good fellow. I'm just going to go ahead and ha say dueling pistol is dropped because now I have to go buy a new gun. This is sad. <laughs> it's a good thing we wanted a long rest because now we desperately need one. Yeah, I am I am now glaring this lady down and I, I just say, who sent you? What do you want? Oh, I sent myself. Don't you worry. I'm here on my own free will. And what do you want? I want you all to make it out alive. Anybody can make an insight check. Fuck yeah. Given that rat is already obeying us, us, of course. Okay, 21. I beat the standard 19. That's good. Oh, okay. All right, uh, also, wondering. really quick. Also, to elaborate, the reason why I pushed for the perception check to be not diplomacy is that the the difference between perception in this game and other uh roll 20 games or d20 games is that perception kind of is assumed to cover several different degrees of noticing um mm. whenever you're using perception for initiative you're allowed to like fuck around and change which skill is using for initiative but perception is your spotting hearing smelling tasting and you're calling bullshit uh, with that said, so we've got one, two, three people that pass. So everybody but Rat, uh, you can tell that she came of her own volition is mostly true. <laughs> that is uh, mostly true. She wants you. She wants you to stay alive. That is a lie. <laughs> oh, she's shit. just she's sweetening her words. Okay. Oh, I thought that I would just introduce myself since I have a feeling we will be able to see each other a couple more times throughout your journey. I guess. I can't help, but I don't, I'm not, I don't even know what this voice is now. <laughs> it's a, honestly, I I'm fully invested in letting you figure out what the voice is. I'm, I'm invested in this arc now. <laughs> I can't help but, but notice. You didn't actually say much when you said said a lot of words, but you haven't actually said anything there. Ooh, I kind of like so that. So you 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 sent yourself, right? But you also said you were sent. So if you're just doing this for shits and giggles, I'm gonna need a little more explanation as to what your uh, greater motivations. She side eyes you and like narrows her eyes at you, uh, but she shifts. She see and she says. I will go ahead and let you all know. What you all are getting into is far out of the scope that you are willing to take. I would suggest if you all want to live your happy, wonderful lives back to wherever you, wherever the hole you crawled out of. She's looking at Rat. Damn. Rat, don't live! 
And then he sticks his tongue out at her. <laughs> she she narrows her eyes at you, but she says, I would suggest leaving this place as fast and as cunningly as you can. Because there's going to be a storm coming. None of you want to be in the middle of it. Especially because I am the eye of the storm. I am so simply here damn. to give you a warning. So then what exactly is your interest in this here, uh, situation? I want you gone. Whoever is causing all of this, and she gestures to the kobolds and the dwarves that are covered in metal, whoever is causing all of this, they are not my friends. I do not want them around. Hold on, I'm getting a call. <laughs> Who the fuck called me? <laughs> no. All right, whatever. My wife giving the performance of our game so far, and we get interrupted. I'm sorry. <laughs> but the person that's been doing all of this, I want them gone. And if you are in the middle of it, then I will have to unfortunately get rid of you. However, if you leave, I won't have to deal with it. And you all get to live. At this point, mm. unless someone else wants to try something, I'm gonna I'm gonna see about having Wander try to diplomacy our way out of this, where we don't have to give a direct answer. But if anybody wants to try something first, hmm, I don't know what exactly. I think her saying that um, whoever's doing all this, she wants them gone. All Zuriel can think, and I think he just doesn't even think before saying it. He's just like, you want whoever did this, and he gestures to, like, the metal, the metal infected people, and he goes, you want whoever did this gone? Yes, that is correct. Then we do, too. Oh, sweet summer child. <clears throat> they are far out of your skill. Well, allow me to deal with it. Well, yeah, rat no half scope. Wander, Can't see. Wander's going to gently but <clears throat> gently but firmly uh, grab onto Rat's muzzle and get him to stop talking. <laughs> I'm just saying that. I'm just saying, if you want this gone, and we do too, What's the point of wasting your energy on trying to push us away out of it? Wander's going to interrupt and say, because we're a extra factor to whatever she actually wants. Sure, maybe we want... Oh, I love the smart ones. He shivers at that. <laughs> like, <"Ugh." laughs> We might... Take him. Go ahead. Taking all that aside, there must be some way we can uh, cooperate. Perhaps if we handled the triage of the afflicted victim while you handle the root cause of this infection. Okay, that's that's essentially what Wander was going to actually pitch. Go ahead and roll the diplomacy. You, you can be the surgeon and we'll be the uh, attending. Nice. Hell yeah, that's a soft 20. Nice. <clears throat> so, so essentially, um, we are offering to help the people, but when it comes to dealing with the threat, we're, at least for now, saying we'll back off. Is that is that a good uh, summation? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. She takes a slow step forward, and she says, You cannot save them. The infection will take its course and they will all eventually be turned into, and she gestures to the kobolds again, this. Keep in mind, we have like living no people. That I know of. Keep in mind, we have living people who are like following us and are hearing this and they're like, oh shit. 
Rat actually takes out the notebook mm -hmm. that Wander noticed, and he flips through a couple pages, and then he points to one at Wander, and he... Rat looks very stern here, and on the page it says... <clears throat> It is of my belief that no patient cannot be saved, no disease uncurable, no sight unseen, no problem that cannot be so solved without science, or, if damned it be, magic. And, uh, Rat, and, Rat is saying that with, like, the full, like, faux British superior accent. No, he's just pointing at the page, but you can tell just by the writing, it is... A legit doctor's note like it is from someone who has done their studies who has delved deep into the realm of biology and uh, the next page would also prove it as it is just a diagram of an else oh uh, it's much like the human man artist painting but it's one for a elf in order to determine best ways to uh, diagnose an elven patient. Uh, Wander will notice that, but then, like, very quickly put, like, a finger to his mouth. Like, I, like he nods, but he's like, okay, but, like, just, just hold on. Like, this is not the time to respond. Uh, Wander is going to try to give everyone a look. I actually would love to know how Markov is uh, reacting to this, because everyone's kind of talking. Uh, how is Markov handling this? Um, given his backstory, he's, I have, as of right now, unless anybody wants to make an insight check, he's probably just very quiet and silent. Okay. Still got his same smile on his face. Oh yeah, probably. Yep. Like Wonder probably has the best chance of, of, uh, gleaning that. I'm going to say... Rhett um, is very offended by the uh, uncurable statement, so he's too distracted. Um, I'm going to say that because Markov's not losing his shit, Wander's just going to prioritize the scary scorpion lady and say, um, well, it, like as like he picks the body up and starts to try to walk around her, it's like, then we can waste our time trying to cure an incurable disease and we can leave you to whatever the hell's deeper down these tunnels. I mean, we'll, we'll already have our hands pretty busy as it is. And um, I don't think I need to roll for that because it, he's not lying. And uh, we already had uh, Broderick succeed in his role. So yeah. Wander's going to start sort of like trying to get around her and leading the rest of the group while also keeping an eye on her. Like, yeah, we're leaving. Um, we'll just stay busy trying to cure people. <laughs> Zuriel's going to follow suit. Still like giving, giving her like the stink eye. <laughs> well, She's going like... to cross her arms. She's like, going like to cross I... her arms and just watch as you all walk away. But she's not going to say anything for now. Like, I even feel like um, Roderick is very much giving her the, the look that a nurse at a hospital would give a really uh, successful surgeon who has no people skills. Of like, you, you must understand that if I could get rid of you, you would be gone. <laughs> but because I can't, I'm just going to go about my job. <laughs> I fucking love that. Um, as we walk out of there, we eventually make our way, I think, back to the top of Banahaw Port. Uh, I think we finally managed... Before... Okay. Before you all leave, she, she, uh, she says, You might as well run back to the sewers as soon as you can, little rats. They're not gonna game... try to turn her. <laughs> Rat almost does his interjection once again because he doesn't understand it, but I'm assuming Wander just goes. No. Stop well, it. Wander <laughs> once again is like just grabs onto the back of his like <laughs> his rag and is just like, nope, 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 nope. And if any of you turn around, she is gone. You didn't even hear the heels click clack. I, w I would. I am curious. I would have like looked over my shoulder as soon as she made, like as soon as she said something. 
Okay, and so with that, we managed to get back to the top of the Banahaw port. I'm gonna grab some new music for us. Eh. Rat name, not rat. No, his friend Wander. Woman make no sense. <laughs> I love rat name, no rat. It's like, wait a minute. <laughs> There's the hint. <laughs> All right, I do not like that woman. No, she's definitely a lot stronger than she uh, gives her impression of. You ever, you ever notice that folks that have no ability to be kind to the folks around them always try to come off as being sweet? I don't like that. Well, it was pretty inconspicuous given the fact that she just kind of showed up in a random fuck-off tunnel that took us an hour to traverse through initially. And then disappeared without a sound. Yeah. He Bat like. Not... Go ahead. Rat just goes, that not common? Because he no. isn't wearing shoes. <laughs> <laughs> it, he it's... got his paws. With the, uh, with the attire she was wearing, Rat, no. Like, she'd have a very difficult time slinking away like that. She was. As he's like kind of oh. clutching his open palms over and over again, it's like my gun. It's like <laughs> she, uh, yeah. Like I, I don't want to like spend too much time on that, but that was a customized, created pistol. That shit should not have broken, even from like the strongest dwarven hammers. No Is offense. Your hands okay? Yeah, see, that's the part that scares me. It's like, he kind of, like, maneuvers his hand and his fingers just fine. Yeah, she was going for the gun. Hmm. Huh. She managed to slap the shit out of the gun out of my hand, and my hand is still functioning. She knew exactly what she was doing, and she had the strength to destroy the equivalent of a very well-made sword. Whatever hmm. she is, she is strong. Be strong. Got it. Rat's eyes are going both ways way. again, because, as you explained, he doesn't understand. Yeah. <laughs> Suffice it to say, some people just don't uh, appreciate quality craftsmanship. <sighs> Alright, well, the folks that we can help are being helped. I, uh... I need to go shopping. Where are you going to shop? We are in the middle of a town that's been basically fortified. Right, but there's also a fuck life. ton of caravans and traders that are not able to do trade right now. Maybe I can get a discount while we're in trying times. Rat just drops a pouch in uh, Wander's hand, and it is all his money, because he doesn't understand value. Oh. He's done trade before, but he doesn't understand what, like what it meant. <laughs> Sweet child must be protected. How much? It is, how, how much gold is that? Three gold pieces, seven silver, and eight copper. Wander is going to push that back into Rat's hands and just go, "Hang on to that. I, I'm, I might take you up on that offer, but let's wait and see what we can do." Rat nods. Um, and at this point, since we're going to go into a long rest, I want to go what see what everyone wants to do for the equivalent of a very short downtime. Uh, there's lots of traders and there's lots of craftsmen who are essentially making like a makeshift shopping area since they have to do something uh, while the port is closed. And as we come up with all these different patients, I think some time passes where we elaborate on what the fuck's going on. And so everyone's kind of kept in the loop. Yeah. So Wander's gonna go shopping for a gun. Markov will follow Wander because mm -hmm. uh, he's basically Wander's puppy. Oh no, I have a man puppy and a rat puppy. Mm -hmm. See, the thing about Rat is, is that he just kind of slinks away where as far away from the rest of the people. He sticks with the group, but if the group starts going where the people are, he's, he's not... 
He's kind of just he being hides. by himself. He's he's hiding. I got you. Uh, <sighs> all right. Uh, what about Zuriel? I think I'll take a look around at like the shops. Uh, I'm probably looking for just like give some more guidance. I'm probably looking for uh, healing potions. I don't think I'm looking for any weapons or anything. Okay. Because yeah, I can't really be... use metal unless there's somebody that's got like a staff that I can get. Okay. So, and then um, Broderick, do you want to do anything special? Uh, I think, given that shit is definitely getting more and more real, uh, I think Broderick might be looking for a shield. Okay. Uh, a minor healing potion costs four gold each. Okay. Give me a second. I'm, like, sure, itching sure. the inside of my arm. And then, when it comes to shields, something that's really cool, too, um worm is that if you want to lean into being like a shield specialist i do have a purchased module that gives you a lot of cool shield stuff uh i'll, I'll have you look into that uh whenever you level up it's really nice Ooh, okay um i guess the question comes down to how big of a shield are you wanting to get uh because hmm. plus i don't want it to be like a big big shield right um I I was about to I was about to annoy myself. Uh you know, just just a normal size shield. Normal size. Okay. Let's see what I can uh, get here. One medium shield, please. One medium shield, please. Uh let's see here. Equipment, hide shield. Oh, am I spinning shield wrong? Is that why I'm having problems here? Uh, a steel shield costs two gold and is uh, just a standard one-armed item. That'll do it. Okay. Let me go ahead and pull your character sheet up. If you can just remove two gold from your inventory, the easiest way to do that is to, whenever you hit the um, remove coin button, I just want to test something. Yeah, so it's going to like give you like a tab that opens up. Make sure you hit remove value, not specific type. That way you can put remove two golds worth of your entire money. And that way it will give you change as you need it. It's, okay. just, it's good practice to do that, or as you'll put, like, oh, I have one gold in, like, a fuck ton of silver. I just need to remove uh, so much silver worth of gold. Oops, I removed all of my silver. Oopsie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, we're going to throw a... I also, know, I also don't know what you're talking about. I just went in and hit the uh, minus button twice on the gold piece. So you hit it once, and then a little, like, menu should pop up. No, when I hit it the first time, it just minus the gold. Really? Let me, let me fucking deal with this. Yeah, when I, like... Uh, Re reload your page, because I just opened oh, up my character oh, sheet. Oh, I see. I see. Because uh, I didn't do the remove coins. I just went down to treasure, where it says gold pieces. Oh, you just did that full-on manually. Okay. Yeah, I, I now see. I now okay. See. Uh, but yeah, you now have a steel shield. Uh, and now you you can have the raised shield. Let me go ahead and get that for you. All right, here we go. So I can now throw on raised shield onto your character sheet. So now it raising a shield costs one action, but then you get the benefits of your shield's um, blocking abilities. We'll put that on your hand too. Cause yeah, I I was sitting there uh, in the last combat, like yeah, you know I I oh I've got shield block. I don't have a shield. I don't have a shield. This is a problem. So now if you hit use shield, uh, you will essentially watch your AC go up. And then when the effect uh, wears off, 
uh, it your AC goes back down to 19. It's a nifty right. little thing. We have fun here. Yeah. Let me go ahead and... So we'll leave that be for now. All right, cool. And then, um, do you want to get the health potions, Zuriel? Uh, first, before I do that, um, is there like a quarter staff or something? Like, how much would that be? Sure. Something that's wooden. There is a bow staff that is worth two silver. <clears throat> Let me see okay. here. What's that do? What else can you get? There's a normal staff, which is worth nothing. And we're going to make sure that this goes by level, and it is. Okay, so at your current state, you could afford and get a standard bow staff for two silver. Yeah, that's basically what I want. I basically just want something to be able to bonk people if they get too close to me, and if I get out of, like, spells. Okay. I'm going to... So make sure, uh, so um, you can choose to either remove the silver manually in your treasure tab or where it has coins on the upper part of your inventory. You hit the minus mm -hmm. button, a tab pops up. You need to make sure you have remove value checkmarked and then remove the amount of silver, which is two silver. That way you're always removing um, the value, okay. and not just the coin, which can fuck things up. And then under weapons, I hit the plus. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna weapon. drag and drop the bow staff into your uh, character sheet for well, you. Thank you. I will just delete yeah. that new weapon there. Thank you. Yep. So now and all then... you ever have to do is choose to draw with one hand or two hand. Okay. Awesome. I'm also gonna go ahead and minus. It was four gold for that healing potion. Yes, and I can go grab that for you. I've already got one, so I'm going to just hit two. Add a, a second one. Yep works okay and then unfortunately the dueling pistol is worth let's see here i think i saw it say 12 gold yeah all right i'm gonna roll to see if actually no i don't well you know what actually i think wander would would he have though because he was getting stared down pretty heavy um, no, he wouldn't. So he needs 12 gold. Wander currently has four gold. If Rat still wants to give him his money, that only gives him seven. He still needs five gold to replace his pistol. That's interesting. Stares at my five gold. Uh... <laughs> well, <laughs> Duriel's not one to immediately say anything, but if Wander asks around, he, he might think about it. Yeah. Uh, uh, Sarge can toss a couple of gold on that. All right. Uh, you, that way you'll still have two gold left. Yeah. Or, or, yeah. or do you not want to spend all of your gold and let's see if maybe I can diplomacy a lower price? Ooh, actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. All right, cool. So let's say you throw in three gold, and so that would... So, uh, uh, Cade, if you're okay with removing all of your gold, just your gold, not like your silver and copper, so that okay. means... Uh, how much you want to give? Two or three uh, gold, Sarge? Three. All right, so we're going to add three, and then three. So six gold... Okay. Yeah, let's let's see if we can get uh, a bit of a haggling done. Wander's going to go over to uh the uh the the weapons can I, Yeah. Can I mention how you find rat by the way? No, because we really <laughs> need to get this going. Oh, I was just going to say he's digging through trash finding food. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. The one time it was going to be a short answer is like, "Oh no, he's just being a raccoon." Mhm. Mm <laughs> God. Respectful. All right. 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a roll for this. So again, the DC will be a 19. We're going to go with a diplomacy check. Uh, shoot. Even with a help action, that's not really going to help. Um, Can Markov intimidate them? You know what? Go for it. I want to. Then we can play this out. This will be very fun. Intimid all right, all right. So I think Wander goes up to the weapon smith and basically is just like, "Listen, friend. As you can tell, we've done a lot of good already. We're not. I'm not trying to grift you. We got ten gold. We're going to be just too short." If anything, I can pay you back the rest of the gold. But if we're going to be able to do any more work here, I need to be able to get this thing replaced. It's Mark, like, I was just, sit, st it's just sitting over Wander's shoulder with his just, big fucking grin. Just staring. And like, the, I think like the weaponsmith at the time was about to say something like, dude, I understand, or like friend, I understand. But like, I'm running a business. Like I'm suffering too because of the lockdown. Sees that. And then he just kind of coughs and goes... Um, we can, uh, we can, we can leave the two gold on your tab. Greatly appreciated. I, I, I you, listen, this is going to help a lot of people out, I promise. And I will get you back that two gold. Yeah, yeah, just, um, can, can you get your buddy to stop staring at me like that? <laughs> and, and without looking, as Mark, soon as, <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. As soon as he says that, Mark Hop, like, stands up straight and starts looking in a different direction. <laughs> And uh, uh, bef without even looking, Wander's like, oh, no, and him has already stopped. And, like, he goes over and grabs the gun. <laughs> um, and he, like, kind of fiddles with it, like, does what he needs to. I also actually realized I got to add a gun cleaning kit, which should have already been in my shit, but it wasn't. So I will, there we go, make sure that's in my character sheet for later. And he just, like, kind of, like, makes the maneuver with it, uh, alters it slightly. It, once again, is going to be in the shape of, like, a breakaway revolver because I like the aesthetic. Um, but it's definitely not nearly as, like, intricate and special as, like, his other design is. And he just sighs, and it's like, I'm definitely going to have to go get the piece of that or else Mom is going to be pissed. Uh, as we all meet back up. And then just double checking, because um, I kind of got lost in the sauce there. Did Sarge want to do any? Oh, no. You got your shield. That's right. Yeah. Uh, I think at this point, we all kind of group back up together, potentially. I think the only one who might not, based on their character, would be Zuriel. So would we have to find Zuriel, or, or would they just naturally think, I kind of know these people. Let me group up. Ellie. Hmm. Would Zuriel... I'm sorry, I got made Pay attention! Oh my god! Um, would Sorry. you're fine? Uh, would Zuriel uh, regroup with everybody, or would they, we have to go find them? Because like, there's nothing that's keeping Z like uh, attached to us per se. That's interesting. I didn't think about that, but I'm thinking about that. I I think Zuriel. I think I think you guys get to the point of like. Where's Zuria? We should go look for him. And he walks up, and you're like, and you're all like, "What took you so long?" And he's just like, "I couldn't find anything better to do." <laughs> you, we just find Zuria face down in a puddle, <laughs> <laughs> just just laid out in the grass, just being like, "What took you guys so long?" It's like we were looking for you. It's like, well, you're bad at it. You're bad at it. <laughs> Maybe you should get higher perceptions. <laughs> and then Rat just Rat just goes. Does that mean? Does that mean Elf friend didn't want to return to Rat? Rat not friend to Elf friend. <laughs> Ellie wants to. Ellie wants to go. Oh, so poor Rat. Zuriel just kind of. You start sniffling and crying. Zuriel just kind of cringes. <laughs> Ew emotion. <laughs> it's just like, why are you doing that? That piece of shit. Uh, Why's your face doing that, ew? <laughs> Who put you on the planet? Uh, Wander's just going to, like, kind of, a little coldfully just pat her out on the back, like, it's okay, buddy, just, just stop, please stop crying. Okay, look, I don't know how the rest of you feel. Okay, I kind of know how Markov feels, because he's a crazy son of a bitch like me. We're gonna go back in. Scorpion lady be damned. But 
the rest of you were kind of just here to help and got involved. So I don't want to assume that any of you are wanting to, you know, jump into the maws of danger. I am danger. I am the machine. <laughs> Brat then just hugs Markov's arm. Oh. Markov also kind of cringes a little bit. <laughs> Brat just goes, is, is this what mean jump in danger eye? What? what? <laughs> Water I know. I know what he's trying to say. I know he's trying to communicate. I just know it. <laughs> Something just happened. It's me, I swear. This is why you don't say metaphors in front of Rat. He takes them seriously. He takes them way too seriously. Wander just, just silent, like shakes his head, like hand and just like, puts his thumbs up, like yeah, buddy, you got it. <laughs> Rat just has a big old smile, which you can't see because of his mask that he's. Re reapplied, but his eyes are bright. Okay, all right. So rats on board. What about you, Sarge? Can't help the rest of these patients for real unless we take care of what's going on down there. Scorpion, be damned. You sure? Because she really hits pretty fucking hard. So do I. Just smiles knowingly and then looks to Zuriel. Zuriel is like, as they're all like discussing, he's like rubbing the back of his neck and he's like looking, he's looking up at the sky. He's just staring there for a minute and then he just sighs and he goes, I guess I've got nothing better to do, so I I'll go with you guys. You know, some people would turn their nose up at that, but I see that as an opportunity to say, hey, you think it's better to help people than to do nothing. I appreciate that. Yeah. All right, so he sits down, busts out the map that he and Markov have been using for a while. The way I see it, and by all means, pitch other ideas as you see fit, there's two ways we can go about this. One, we can go full fuck all and rush down into the tunnels, see how much damage we can do, see how many more lives we can save. Or we can take the risk and go to Dragonfall. We can try to give a plight to the king, I'm sure by this point, messengers have at least gotten some relativity of our situation over. And if we, adventurers during the Age of Adventure, come forward with our own eyewitnesses, we might actually get some sizable backup. The problem with it is, I don't know if we can guarantee that everyone uh, makes it out of there alive in the underground. Hmm. <laughs> I'm all for balls to the wall. What size up back? What? What? We get this big, and he has like a small, small up hands to show how big they're getting back up. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. w Wander, uh, like, will take his hands and, like, extend them out as far as they can go, like, naturally, and then nod at that. Like, to explain, no, that's the size of backup we would get. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I think, I mean, I'm not really a good planner at all, so I think we could just, like, go in. What else is... Like, what else is there to stop us? Uh, a scorpion lady. Scorpion lady, potentially an entire army of already transformed mechanical humanoids. I I'm just going to throw it out there. A demon. Mm. Be careful what you wish for. The fuck was oh, that? God. <laughs> <laughs> She's here. Reaches, reaches for gun, but not in a way of like, I'm going to brandish my gun. More like holding it. Like, no, you can't kill this one. I just bought it. <laughs> I just bought it. You can't kill my second baby. <laughs> it's the cop. Scatter. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, that that is what I believe both as a player and as a, as a co-GM is the best option for us. Either we go to Dragonfall, 
give our plight to the king, or we say fuck it and we just go balls deep and see how much we can do. See... You know what? Getting assistance sounds pretty great, even if it takes a little while. <laughs> like, th this is an entire attack on a very populated and very prominent port. Like, it would not be hard to convince the king. It's merely just a time situation. However, the, the, the drama is, even I as the GM don't know how fucked we are if we go in there unprepared. It all comes down yeah. to the fate dice. Uh... You know what? I'm pulling out my inner mag, my old co-player, and doing random chance again. Okay, we're going to get help. Rat picks help. Okay, is that, that two votes for help? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Wander... It's his plan, so he feels either works. So it's down to Mark. Well, Markov was wants to go in guns blazing, so to speak. So Sarge, yeah. where do you want to go? Sarge wants to go go all yeah. in. Okay, then what? Wander's gonna do the same thing. He's gonna go ahead and uh, roll a d2. So it's just roll uh, forward slash d2. It's forward slash r. Then space D2. Okay. One, uh, we go to Dragonfall. No, no. You, what we're going to do with Rats, one is. Uh, two is Dragonfall. One is Guns Blazing. Oh, boy. <laughs> we're going Guns Blazing. <laughs> See, I made, I made Dragonfall 2 because I wanted the higher option, and that's what Miles wanted to do. But Rat doesn't understand you know, the concept of getting help in a dangerous situation, so that's why it was the lesser option. Right. Alright, so, uh... Fuck it! Yeah, fuck it, let's we ball. So, uh, there is a little bit more RP and setup for the next coming battle that we can get set up to. Uh, I want to ask if anybody wants to take a break, get snacks, go to the bathroom, and then when we come back we can do that, or if we need to start wrapping up. Um, if it's RP, it shouldn't take too long, right? It, it'll, it'll probably take at most another 30 to 40 minutes of, depending on, like, how silly or, like, serious we get. We're not going to do the combat tonight. That's, we don't have time for that. Yeah. Especially for yeah. the, like, I I went a little um, game designery on this next combat to make it really fun. So we really yeah. don't have time for it tonight. Yeah. Uh, I, it's, it's almost 12 now. I have to leave at 1, so I have plenty of time for RP. Okay. Basically. Like, I have to leave for work at 3, but I want to be off game by 1. Okay, and it's, it's just turning one 12 to now. Yeah. Okay, what about the rest of you? Uh, stop here or continue a little bit after a break? I'm good either or. Okay. Right. I kind of want to stop now because I need to take a shower. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I am fine with that because that means that we played for pretty much almost a solid two hours. Uh, I will go ahead and reveal to all of you the map we are going to be coming to. Oh, Ooh. Lord. And the caverns to hell. I that name. I almost forgot. I have to. Oh, my God. This is huge. Oh, it's still loading for me. I'm. <laughs> there we go. It's still oh. loading. Yee! Oh dear. Oh, 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 oh dear. lord. They say the end oh is coming gosh. and I need to prepare. We can't go to hell if we're already there. If they're already dead. Even, even when I zoom out all the way, I can't even completely like see it. Same. We get like, a bit of the, we get a bit of traveling oh and shenanigans to deal look, with, you guys. Look at how small the token is. This is when I've zoomed all the way out. Yeah, yeah, oh, you guys no. have to zoom in for that. But like, we've got a we've got a little bit of a ways. You know, I know what's even more fun. Um, I could have made this much bigger if I wanted to. I adjusted the token size so it doesn't take a fucking year for us to get to the end of this. God. Like, like and there's no cover. There's, there's no, no cover. cover. The, the here's the thing. 
Uh, the way that, like, some of these corners work, you can technically use that or even say, like, I climb up to these areas to use elevation. But nah, there's not yeah, a lot of cover. but it'll take a day. It'll take a day to get there, though. <laughs> okay, so, like, I, I was over-exaggerating. Like, these things are not actually, like, it's just 45 feet, buddy. Yeah, but that's, like, still... Like, my movement is 20, buddy. You have three <laughs> actions! I, oh, I had to spend my whole turn getting somewhere. I don't... I don't know what you're... I don't know what you're complaining about. Turns into a deer, runs 50 feet in one action. <laughs> but, uh, that it's, is where... Go ahead. Fucking dwarf, bro. Just the fucking dwarf, bro, just glaring in dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> uh with oh, that I uh i would say everyone go ahead and put their tokens like somewhere in the area make sure that your health is back to your max uh make sure my health is back to max before putting my token down huh and i'm gonna say that everyone I gets still can't put down my token <laughs> oh my god yes you can you just Ugh! Explain oh, that's how. Okay. I know. You, hold on. Let me make sure that the ownership is working the way it's supposed. Yes, it is. All right. So you've got the character up. You see Markov, right? Yeah. Click and hold. Like hold it and literally just drag it onto the screen. Come over here and help I'm, me. I'm coming please. over there to help you. <laughs> So I'm clicking on the name, and I can't drag it over. It is literally not letting you do it. I I think it might be something wrong with your mouse. I don't know. I told you no. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, so I'll just have to remember to do that because it's literally your mouse is not letting you. Alright, whatever. Something weird. Something weird. I am not in the wrong. Your mouse has become a rat. <laughs> okay. Ugh. Well, then this is where, after I throw uh, Markov into the mix, this is where we're going to go ahead and wrap up this session. I uh, hope you guys had fun. Next week, we'll mm -hmm. begin our adventure into the deep unknown. Um, into the unknown! And probably get killed. As usual, guys, I do appreciate and like when you guys, like, give me feedback if there is something I need to work on. Or, hey, this wasn't... Wow, did, did Miles already piece the fuck out? Did he? Uh, they're going to take a nap. Okay. Oh. Um, okay, yeah, ha heading to take a nap. Just let me know if there is anything that I either need to work on or a bad habit that I'm doing during the games. I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys did, too. And, chat, yeah. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Yeah, quite a yeah. few lookers. So I'm going to go ahead and get set up to wrap this up. Uh, next week will be the big conflict sort of capper that we've been leading up to. And then afterwards, uh, we'll make an excuse for our characters to actually want to hang out to e with each other. You know, looks to the camera if they don't die. If they don't die. <laughs> It's okay, if Surreal dies, I've already got, like, two characters in mind. Listen, valid. 
We're here for a good time, not a long, have, time. a long time. I have so many characters that I want to play that I've never gotten to play in any game, and I can and will adjust them from D&D to Pathfinder. It's a lot, a lot easier than you might think. And I'm, I know I'm mm -hmm. saying that as someone who, like, literally fat man devoured the rules, but my god, trust me, there's so many things you can do. Uh, with that well, said... I've... Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and look for someone so, to raid. So says completely impartial Judge Basil. <laughs> yeah, yeah, always, yeah, just impartially judge me. <laughs> you know what? I Sin get to judge him all the time as I'm his wife. No, yeah, you you get that privilege. You literally married me. I somehow convinced you to do that. Privilege and dare I say obligation. Yeah, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and raid uh, Auburn Girl because uh, she's playing a nice little far, uh, fun farm simulator. Which I think, after dealing with being threatened by uh, a giant dobby mommy and also being told to fuck off, maybe some people want to relax a little bit. A little aftercare. Mm hmm. You know what? I regret rephrasing it that way since the aftercare had to be said. Not because aftercare is bad, more just, oh, I made this kinkier than I meant for it to be. <laughs> it's as kinky as it wanted to be, Baz. God. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Uh, I'll be streaming more Pathfinder tonight with the uh, VTuber crew. It's going to be a lot more chaotic because they're giant goofballs, but it's it's been fun. So I'll see you guys later tonight at 6. Everyone else, bye!